Hi, my name is Jeff Lunds and I am a Lakeland native who first came to China in 2000 and have been living in China permanently for the last eight years. And today I just wanted to take a, a, a minute or two and, and tell you about why you should definitely take this opportunity to come to China. Now, when I first came back from China in 2000, I remember a lot of people asking me, you know, what is China like? And, and, and what I saw at that point was people really had no conception or no, no opinion about what, what China was or is. And, and one of the things that I've really seen change in the last 10 years as I come back and, and visit family and friends in Lakeland is that everybody has an idea. They say, well, what about this? Or what about this economic policy? Or what, what is the government like? Or how, how are the people treated? And everybody has a, a, a very strong or, or at least a, a, a clear opinion on how they feel about China and how China affects them and, and their lives. And I think that's a, a growing uh, a, a growing idea and a growing concern uh, in the U.S. Is, is what role is China playing in our lives looking forward and and I can't think of a better day to really talk about it uh, than than today if you look if you look behind me you know one of the things that, that, that people talk about is, is the Chinese pollution and, and uh, the, the gray haze and and I can't think of a better way to describe China than gray you know people ask you know Jeff you've been there for eight years what is China like and I, I wish you know I, I I wish I had a, a, a clearer idea of what China is like and, and how do you describe a, a country of 1.3 billion people that has the second largest GDP in the world and that is growing at 10% at for the last 30 years and, and how do you even begin to, to balance uh, you know, human rights issues and political issues with economic growth and, and with a history that is, that is 5,000 years old. And one of the, the interesting things is you know, 50 years ago, Mao Zedong was, was ruling China with an iron fist and, and a lot of people have that conception, those ideas in mind and, and you look at a, a generation that's, that's filling out the workforce that is mostly 30 something or younger who are only children because of the one child policy and, because, uh, and, and are trying to, to develop themselves within this, this family context as well as they've, they've really never known hardship, it's, it's always been growing, it's always been good. So, so how do you how do you balance these things? How do even not only not only externally outside of China, but but even inside of China, how do generations talk and meet? And and the one thing I am sure is that that when you do step on off that plane and, and enter China, that it's a, it's a life changing experience, and it's a, it's going to change your ideas and, and how you view not only China but but America and and, and how uh, the globe operates today. Thanks.